Hello guys, in this tutorial we'll model a 3D bridge in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's take a reference of that. If you're going to work with the dimensions, you can go with the dimensions. I have a reference of that uh, particular bridge. So we are going to model this uh, bridge over here. So we're not going to do the texturing part, but we can easily model this. Texturing is also easy. So very first of all, I'm sorry. So let's take a plane over here. So once you're done with this plane, let's take a box over here. Let's go to the top view and take a box. So just take a box over here. And just take any color font right now. So select this, uh, convert to editable poly. Let's go into the front view and let's just push it up, select this, scale it, press shift and drag to make a duplicate of it. So for this kind of road over here, what we are going to do over here is like, let's take a box over here let's take a box just drag it up over here for the road so What we will be doing over here is like uh, we are going to just make right click convert to editable poly and let's give a swift loop. So as I explained in the previous sessions that if you are using a swift loop you can easily put the loop so let's use this swift loop and use a bit of extrude over here and click on so once you're done over here we have uh, let's go into this AC extended and we have a ready made railing over here so let's use a railings over here so let's use a so after taking a railing over here right click and just set it to 90 degree and let's rotate it and just push this till here so go into this increase its segments before that we will make it as a round over here depth you can just reduce it width you can reduce it profile you can make it as round over here depth and width you can just reduce it you can go into this and you can just increase the number of counts over here you can increase the number of counts over here so as many counts you need you can just take those number of counts over here so once you are done with this over here so let's uh, go to the top view and let's press shift and let's just duplicate that particular stuff over here perfect 
So now what I'm going to do over here is like, if you see this uh, part over here, before that, this I'm going to attach it with this. So let's first, you know, save the file. That's more important. So let's save the file. So let's go into the edge, select this edge, this edge and let's give ring option, Alt and R and let's give one connect to it and let's just push this up. So select this polygon and this polygon and just give a bridge option. So there is a bridge option so that particular uh, faces or vertices will definitely get joined up so now what I'm going to do over here is like I'm going to uh, create one more box over here auto grid activate this auto grid option activate this option and you can just push this out scale it push it a bit out over here so so convert to editable poly let's use one swift loop over here one swift loop over here So press 4 polygon and just push it in this way. So now what we are going to do over here is like let's go into this particular view. Let's take a line tool over here. So off this auto grid option. So we can just create this, copy this. So no problem, we'll make it in this way. So select this both, push this till here. Select this, go into this and we have a modifier. We have one modifier over here called sweep modifier that's a modifier called sweep so let's go into the sweep modifier and let's use this as a T over here or you can also use an I flange over here and reduce its length and width over here Alright, so select this. So go into the vertices and just push this up. So delete this and let's make one copy of it. Also, what we are going to do now is like just push this out more so go into this polygons and just push this out much better so let's go over here again and let's take one more line over here so so take a line over here so duplicate this line so first take a line over here and let's again give a sweep modifier 
so again just reduce this all the parameters over here for this so select this line vertices and just push it in this way so press shift and drag it to make a copy of it shift and again drag it to make one more copy of it so making a So now what I can do is like I can just select this and this and let's mirror it in y axis and let's make a copy of it and let's push this over here. So once you're done with this. So now again I will take a rectangle on top of it again take one rectangle right from the top over here ok so we don't need this full rectangle but we just need a rectangle from here to here. That's it. So definitely you can increase decrease the size if you want. You can just uh, you know if you want to push this more further that can be uh, pushed over here. Not a problem. So you can just select this road and all this. Can just scale it a bit. So I think the height is uh, too much. So what we'll be doing over here is like I'll just uh, delete this stuff for now and I'll go into this and I'll just reduce its height that's I think that's uh, perfect for now so let's go into the vertices and just push it in this way so again select this press shift and drag over here and again make a copy of it okay. so just uh, duplicate this shift tab take a rectangle go to the top view over here and just make this so just you can push that up so I'm just making on my own. You can go with your own also, not a problem. And enabling viewport again, use a sweep modifier. And you can just reduce the stuff. So again, go to the top view, take again a 
line over here and just push this line up and let's give a sweep modifier so what you can just achieve it in this way if you want more uh, at a bigger distance you can just push it wide and you can go with it that's it all right So thanks for watching this tutorial.